Rub up your engines! Okay, today I have what the owner says is the best worst car he ever bought. It's a 2007 Toyota Prius that he bought for his wife when it only had 30,000 miles on it. It was a couple years old. It now has 188,000 miles on it. Of course, it's a hybrid. He calls it the best worst car he ever bought. Previously, the man owned a Toyota Supra Turbo. What's he doing driving a Prius? Well, here's the story. His wife drove a long way to work. It doesn't sound that bad now, but the price of gas went up to four dollars a gallon. And he was sick of it, so he bought this used. It got 48 to 49 miles a gallon back then with 30,000 miles. And as a matter of fact, it still does. So you gotta say, it's pretty well made, right? But he got it for his wife and he said, you keep it seven or eight years. I don't want it. I don't want it when you're done with it. We'll do something else. But you get it, we'll save a lot of money in gas. So, well, swing out to today, 2022. He's actually been driving it the last six years. And he says it's the best, worst car he ever got. Phenomenal gas mileage. It is a Toyota Prius. It's a long way from a Supra Turbo. Well, numero uno, the hybrid battery went out at 90,000 miles. The original warranty back then was 100,000 miles. He took it in, and they scanned it, but realize one thing, he worked at a Toyota dealership. <laughs> so when he took it in, they said, yes, it needs a battery. And he got a new hybrid battery. Now that was at 90,000 miles. Now he's gone all these years, about uh, 50,000, 60,000 miles more. It's still working perfectly fine. About eight years ago, the fancy panel, it went out on him. You can see it's working now. Now that wasn't covered under warranty and Toyota wanted $8,000 just for the part. So, as I said, this guy works for Toyota. So rather than buying this fancy thing for eight grand, he went on eBay and he bought a used one for 200 bucks and put it in himself. Even he was shocked at the price of the original one, but hey, this one's working perfectly fine. That's the problem you gotta understand. The technology in these things is whoosh, and when it comes to you have to buy a part. You really don't have that much of a choice. They did sell millions of these things, right? So, they've been making them for decades. There are a lot of them that are in salvage yards. I'll give you a perfect example why. I had a customer in Houston years ago, and they towed me a Prius. And I said, let me get out my fancy scan tool. I did. And I said, well, your generator's broken. It turns out that to replace the generator was going to be about 7,500 bucks, and this was years ago. And that's because this isn't a normal car that has an alternator that runs off the belt. I changed the alternator on my wife's matrix. I paid 150 bucks in the alternator. It took me 20 minutes to change it. On this Prius, the generator is in the transfer case and the transmission in the front. The engine and transmission has to be pulled out of the unit. Then you gotta separate them and gender just replace the transfer case. It's part inside there. I know guys who are expert Prius mechanics. And they actually tried to rebuild the generators and they said it doesn't work. They said we'll only put in new ones. We're not gonna try to fix them. We tried. Take it apart, fix it, put it back together, and then it didn't work or it worked for a few months and broke again. Not a good scenario. So that's one reason that there's a bunch of them in junkyards. As with most modern Toyotas, they learned how to rust proof them. You don't see any rust on this thing. It doesn't rust out, even though it lives in Massachusetts. Now it does have the usual fogged out headlights. Well, our Matrix did too, so I went online, bought two of these things for 80 bucks six years ago, and they're still shining. Because really, the phenomenal gas mileage that these cars get, and it's still running, and consider this. It's now a 15 year old car. He bought it 13 years ago for $15,000. Talk about getting your money's worth. It's still going. So, realize, let's say the generator finally goes out on this. You're not gonna put seven grand in it. You junk it. But all those years for $15,000, I mean, you can't complain about that. That's the thing about these. Toyota's been making Priuses for decades. They're the most sold hybrid cars ever made. They know what they're doing. And I do have to say, if you really want to know the truth, as far as I'm concerned, the second generation Prius is probably the best ones ever made. If you look at some of the modern hybrids, like the RAV4 hybrid, they're having a problem with the wiring short now from the salt water and stuff, cause guess what? They're making them cheaper than they used to cause the bean counters have gotten involved. Let's uh, make this a little cheaper, a little thinner. Have I ever seen one of these short out? No. I haven't because they really overbuilt them. They wanted to make something that they knew 
was going to hold up over time so people would continue to buy them. Now let's compare this to a Honda Civic Hybrid. I remember when they had the Honda Little Hybrids in Houston decades ago. They couldn't give them away. They had lots full of the things. They had a different type of system. Honda did not start and perfect the system. They had a system that turns out wasn't such a hot system and the system just did not pan out like the Toyota system did. Those I wouldn't advise anybody to buy a used older hybrid Honda because they had a lot of problems as they aged and even today it's kind of hard to get a lot of parts for them. These you can always get parts for them there's no arguing that. There's bunches of them in junkyards, Toyota sells parts. Now you buy the Toyota parts like I said outrageously expensive all those thousands for the control panel in the front you know but then again he paid 200 bucks on ebay got it put it in it worked perfectly fine they are well built they don't rust understand they were made as econo box cars so you know they're basic look at the seats they're still not even torn they still got a lot of leg room in these things and the back seats are still in good shape nothing wrong with these cars if they don't get too many miles on them and start to break down. Everything wears out but the level of technology is so much higher that when they do stand back and you let it go you don't get emotionally involved in it. You just say well great that was a good run maybe I'll get another one. I had a customer in Houston he was on his third Prius and he got about 250,000 miles of the first two. Who can complain about that? Phenomenal gas mods it ran and finally his last one when it had 249 the battery was going out and he said eh, I think I'll try out the new one. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be very leery about buying a high mileage used one. Maybe you want to gamble. If you get one cheap enough what the heck. Maybe it'll last you for a while you know. Just understand the level of technology in these things is so much beyond what other cars. If you know absolutely nothing about cars I'd say don't ever buy a high mileage one of these that would be foolhardy because you're going to be at the whim of the mechanics and hardly anybody knows how to work on them to begin with and anytime you take it to a dealer you're going to get really expensive bills so it's not a wise thing to buy a high mileage one. On the other hand I wouldn't think twice about buying a used Matrix that had 200,000 miles if it hadn't been wrecked. They're Toyota Corollas. They can run basically forever and then when they do finally something breaks they're very easy to fix since they're basically Toyota Corollas there's parts all over the place. Let's take this thing for a ride and see how it still goes. And you can see it's got a backup camera but it's old and faded but you can still see. Now it's a Prius so of course to get phenomenal gas mileage realize one thing it's low to the ground. They do ride rough because they're low to the ground. It's just the way a little car is especially if it's low to the ground. And of course you get all the information about what's happening with your energy monitor and like I said he had the battery replaced a while ago but he still gets the same exact gas mileage he got when he got it when it only had 30,000 miles on it. And now as you can see it's got 188,129 miles on it. Here we go. And you heard those tires start to squeal before the traction control came in. Got decent acceleration. It's not mind boggling. One of those tech guys, you're going to be watching the battery and the motor all the time. It is fascinating, I do have to say. And this particular one, tire pressure monitoring system's on because one of the sensors is gone. Who cares? He doesn't care. He just uses a tire gauge like me. Bought it cheap for 15 grand when it only had 30,000 miles on it. And yes, the battery had to be replaced. But it was replaced under warranty. So if you're going to buy a used hybrid, always check into the warranty. Because believe it or not, lately some of these companies are given a 150,000 mile battery warranty. That's a big deal. But just realize one thing. As he found out, they gave him the battery 90,000 miles because they had a 100,000 mile warranty. But the warranty on the new battery was what was left on the old one. <laughs> so that was only 10,000 miles. It's still going, so he doesn't care, right? You're not going to get another. 10 year warranty on the thing if they do replace. And here's something you really want to think about. If you do buy a used one, you have to have all the data on the title. You need to know exactly what happened with the vehicle because let's say it has a reconditioned title or a salvage title. Don't buy it. Don't ever buy a hybrid. Let's say the battery's still under warranty and it goes bad. No dealership's going to warranty. They're going to look and see. That baby was totaled. We're not giving a warranty on any battery because it was in a massive wreck, flood, whatever. No dealer is going to warranty your battery in that. Realize that. So be very careful if you're buying a used hybrid if you don't know the whole history of the car. Because if it was totaled or a massive wreck, you're never going to get any warranty work done on that stuff. And then your SOL 
buying a very expensive $7,000 up battery, buying other parts that could be damaged from being in a flood or something, you really have to get the title search down right. That's where I'm not a big fan of Carfax, but they can get the title information. That's public record and just look at it. If it makes sense, great. This guy owned it, that guy owned it. But if you see it was wrecked, totaled, and the title isn't clean, don't touch it with a 10 foot pole. So here's a guy who's still driving the best worst car he ever had. Hey, he, he's still married to his wife, so something right's going on there. <laughs> So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.